My name is Rory Shelton, but most of my friends call me Rory Shelton because I love dinosaurs. And why are you here today, Miss Shelton? Well, I worked at Rocker World, which is an amusement park in the Midlands, with Whit and Cam. Can you talk to me a little bit more about your relationship between Whit Bowman and Cameron Poole? Well, Whit and I were really good friends her first summer. She loves dinosaurs just as much as I do. But in 2012, we weren't as close. Can you tell me why? Well, because Cameron came to the park, and the <coughs> two of them together kind of made me uncomfortable, so I didn't hang out with her as much. And can you tell me about the summer pool park? How did that go for you? Well, it was a great summer. I, I loved working there. But like I said, I didn't hang out with Whit and Cam as much. Did you hang out with Whit and Cam at all, Miss Shelton? Well, I didn't hang out with them, but I did hear them talking a lot that summer. And what did they talk about? Well, one time I heard Whit tell Cam <coughs> that she was almost out of her version <coughs> of the world tour bracelet, and that she wouldn't have another order in until the next week. Did you know what she meant by that? She, she must have been talking about the Rocker World. Objection, Your Honor. Question. This line of question is a speculation. I think we need a better foundation. <laughs> Strike the testimony from the record, Your Honor. I still think it's more it's preliminary, we're not going to strike it. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, you may re you may renew that objection to just speak that day. Do you know what these wristbands were? Well, they they must have been Rocker World bracelets. The world tour bracelets we have at the park for VIP customers. And could you just tell me a little bit more about Rock the World itself, Miss Shelton? Well, it's a it's a great park. We have a bunch of rides and there's concessions and it, it's just so much fun. I'd like to go back to the summer of 2012. Did you hear any other conversations between Whit Bowman and Cameron Poole? Well, one time I heard Whit suggest to Cam that maybe he should offer a discount for people who are willing to pay cash for their wristbands. And when was that? Um, that was in July. And did you hear any conversations after that? Yeah, I heard one on uh, July 29th, or August 29th, I'm sorry. Can you tell me about August 29th, Miss Shelton? Yeah, I can. That was the day of my birthday party. We had balloons and cake. It was so much Michelle, fun. Miss Shelton, Miss Shelton, bringing you back to today's trial, can you tell me anything that happened between Whitney Bowman and Cameron Poole on August 29th? Well, I did hear Whit talk to Cam about a knife, and she asked if he had one. And when she found out he didn't, she said she would bring him one the next day. Miss Shelton, did Whit Bowman bring Cameron Poole a knife? Yeah, I, I saw her give him one the next day. What day was that? August 30th. Ms. Shelton, I'd like to talk to you about August 30th. Can you tell me how that day began for you? Well, I went to the park, and it was the fall festival, so it was going to be a really, really, really great day. And I started the day, and I took some pictures with some kids and went on some rides, and it was all great until I went on my break. What happened on your break? Well, usually I go and hand off my costume and catch a few rides by myself. And so I headed over to Wit Ride. And when I got there, I saw her and Cam talking. Did you hear what they were talking about, Miss Shelton? Well, I heard Whit tell Cam that he should teach Long Street a lesson. A and then I, I saw her pass her blue-handled knife to him. And what did you do about this? Well, I was, I was shocked and I was kind of scared. I mean, the sharpest thing that we're supposed to have at the park are my teeth. We're not supposed to have knives there. And so I, I got on the ride just to think about what I should do. And when I got off, I had to go back to work. And what happened once you went back to work? Well, I headed to the front of the park just to make sure that I was there if I was needed. And I was there for the rest of the afternoon. And did anything happen at the end of the day on August 30th, Miss Shelton? Yeah, at, at the end of the day, I saw Cameron go into the ticket booth and then he came running out, and Miss Haley Swood, she came out of her office and she was screaming, and, and Cam was running towards the tunnel of terror. Was Cameron Poole holding anything, Miss Shelton? Yeah, in one of his hands, he had that blue-handled knife that I had seen earlier. 
And in the other hand, I saw him carrying a bag. And when you saw Tim and Pooh running through the park, what did you do? Well, I went into Mom and T-Rex mode. I wanted to protect all the kids. So I headed to the Tunnel of Terror to see if I could help out at all. And were you able to help out at all? Well, no. When I got there, Officer Thomas had already been hit by the, by the ride. So I couldn't really help that much. But I, I did see Wit behind the control panel. No further questions at this time, ma'am. 